that's your rub nut there. And you're gonna need one of these, which is uh, 36 mil. You better go in with like a six point socket. So there's no chance of it rounding off the, um, the edges. So I'll just give them threads. Quick wire brush. A spray with a spray with plus gas. Let that sit for a few minutes, um, and then with wheel on ground, you don't want to crack that loose with a breaker bar. You don't want a fairly long end like. I'll uh, I'll put a picture up. There's going to be a bit of bow in it, but you'll just have to. Uh, Persist, I'm afraid, because this is talked about 300 newton meters. Right, next stage wheels off. I'm gonna wire brush and spray some penetrating oil on them five Torx 30 bolts that connect the hub to the disc. Because when we take all that assembly off, we're gonna whiz them out. So if we do that now, they'll give chance for it to soak in a bit. And then we'll also, we'll give um, the uh, caliper slide pin bolts and the uh, caliper mounting bolt a wire brush off. Get them ready to uh, crack loose with, with bar. All right, I'll uh, do that now. I'll put some pictures. Obviously, if you're um, just changing the, the bearing or the hub assembly and you're reusing the disc, make sure you don't spray the disc like I am. They're penetrating oil, but I'm replacing it all. It doesn't matter. I just thought, while I'm at this stage, I'm gonna just wire brush off the handbrake mechanism to clean it off. And on the spring and mechanism, and then uh, I'll just go in cab and work the handbrake a bit. Let's give it a bit of a clean up, really, while I'm here, might as well. So, caliper uh, guide pins, bolts, crack them loose. Mine is 13 mil. She used to break about and then just crack them loose. No, I'll, I'll whiz them off with a 3 8 uh, impact wrench. And then what we'll do is a pull caliper off and brake pads and that. And then uh, we'll go on to removing the caliper mounting. So we're just on, we're removing the um, caliper mounting now. I took that bolt out. As you can see, I'm just on with the uh, bottom one now. You will be better do it taking bottom one out first and then top one and then it won't keep trying to fall on you like this. Um, for this, mine's a 15 mil socket. Um, bit stubborn at first, so I had to wire brush it, bit of penetrating fluid, wipe it and then put some uh, heat on it with one of them, it won't come off. Well we're getting there now, it's coming out, so I'll, uh, I'll do that and then go on to the next thing. If you take a look at these pictures on the screen, you can see that the, the pad on the left is the one that was on the piston and the pad on the right is the one that was getting used by the slide pins. Uh, when you've got uneven pad wear like this, it's down to your slide pins not functioning properly. So you need to clean them off with a wire brush, bit of brake cleaner and then put some silicon grease on them. So once you're at this stage, you've took, you've 
unknown caliper guide pins, slick caliper all the way, supported it with a cable tie so it's not dangling on the hose. Uh, brake pads out, caliper mounting bolts out and the mounting bracket out the way. Then you want to take this off, take all this off. Um, we'll have to take these five tops 50 bolts out because you don't get new ones of them, maybe new hub assembly. So we need to keep them, be careful not to strip them. And then uh, I'm going to give all this, give this a good clean. I'll just carefully wire brush that face of piston. Wire brush all this, wire brush that. Guide pins. You want to take the boot out and uh, you want to clean all this down, wire brush any rust off, get cleaned down with um, brake fluid. That's the bottom one by the way and that's the top, you can see the top one's a little bit different. Clean them all down and then you want to um, put a good dose of silicon grease on this, not petroleum grease, silicon grease. All right, so I'm giving everything a bit of a clean down. Gently wire brush the piston first, and wire brush around here. Uh, wire brush there, put a bit of copper grease, copper ease on. This out, bit of brake clean on it to get oil off. I'm gonna put hub in there and then put the uh, bolts back in. I've cleaned threads with wire brush. So put them back in, tighten them up, and they want talking to 70 Newton meters. And then uh, we'll put that on there and we'll put the caliper mounting back on. Right, so we got them on, got them down, top down, 70 newton meters. Um, cleaned off all the brake, some brake fluid, brake dis, sorry, with some brake fluid. Got it on, we just uh, put the hub nut back on. Just nipped it ever so slightly with a um, little wrench, half inch ratchet. Just keep it in place while we put the uh, caliper mounting bracket back on. What we're going to do before we put that on, and it's in the way, we're going to have to wind that piston back in. Um, but you are going to need uh, a tool set for that because it needs to push in and turn clockwise. Anti-clockwise on the near side, passenger side, and then the off side, the driver side, which we're at now, is clockwise and in. Right, so we've got the caliper mounting back on and um, I just put a bit of copper grease on the back of that flange there and then some uh, Loctite on the beginning of threads and then we'll top this down. I can't remember what this is at but um, I've got book, I'll put a picture up so you guys know um, and then we've got the new all right guys so I'll just um, pause you there for a second just to quickly uh, briefly explain something the um, clips that I'm pointing to on the uh, video now the moment uh, just take note it's worth putting a bit of copper grease on them and also on the um, like the metal frame and the brake pads that come into contact with them, you know what I mean? Um, just to help things keep moving and slide. 
Uh, obviously, you don't. You want to make sure you don't contaminate the brake discs or brake pads with copper grease. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd pause the video and uh, quickly add that in for you. All right, all right. Let's get back to it. New clips in that come with pads. They go like that. If you know what I mean. So you've got that square bit net disc, and then that little lip on the outside. All the way around, top and bottom, exactly the same. And then pistons wound in. So, are you ready to put pads in and caliper back on? Right, so we've cleaned off the guide pins and the rubber boots and just put some fresh silicone grease on. That one goes in at the top. And then uh, we'll use them um, fresh bolts that come with the brakes and we'll connect the caliper up to the guide pins. Everything's on. So everything's being cleaned off and guide pin bolts are in, torqued up to about 30 newton meters, I think. Uh, I'll double check with that and I'll uh, put the right measurement, measurement up on screen. Disc a quick clean off again. I'm gonna put some copper grease on there before I put wheel on. But first off, you need to torque this to 200 newton meters, and then you spin it five times, and then you torque it to its final setting, 300 newton meters, newton meters, and then you uh, spin it again, and then that's it done.